Hi, I'm Laura Muir. I'm 27 years old and I compete in the sport of athletics. So I was actually born in Inverness, um, but then I moved down south, um, which is where I kind of grew up until I was 18 and went to university. But um, yeah, a, a great childhood, you know, involved in, in sport, lots of different sports, I guess. I had a younger brother, which we got a bit competitive with him on a lot of things. But yeah, you know, grew up with a dog, lots of other pets, um, you know, kind of out in the country and stuff. So yeah, lots of kind of different things to keep me busy. So it's good. I did tap dancing when I was when I was really young. And then I did um, karate for quite a few years, um, a little bit of school hockey. I liked kind of doing the kind of summer sports programs sort of with the with the school so I would do like kayaking and rock climbing and all these kind of random things I just kind of loved everything I think I was about 11 years old when I kind of really started to show an interest in athletics um, and joined a, a local athletics club primary six was probably when we first started racing and sort of regional cross-country races so I'd have been about 10 um 11 years old yeah I just did it because I really enjoyed it like I wasn't I was okay at it like I would probably be my best in school at it but when I came to sort of regional stuff or um, country-wide stuff. You know, I would I would really sort of meddle, but I think I just, yeah, I love the sport. It was, yeah, it kept me, kept me fit. I just loved it for keeping your mind in a good place and it was good for, you know, relieving stress around exams and stuff. And just to have that that other interest, you know, outside of school was really, really good. Growing up, what I wanted to do was, was always be a vet. Um, so in high school, I was picking the subjects to, you know, to get the grades, to, to go to university, to, to get my um, place at university for, for veterinary medicine. And running was just a, a hobby, you know, one that I did I did take quite seriously, but it was in a sense just a, just a hobby. And to be honest, it never even crossed my mind, like I could do that professionally or, or make a living out of it. But yeah, it wasn't until I went to university and then I was kind of opened up to all these other opportunities. I was fortunate that I'd heard that the University Athletics Club had a pretty good coach. So I thought, oh, I can join that club to kind of keep it up as I was doing to kind of similar level. But then literally within a couple of months, I guess just the training programme that I had was just so, so different to what I'd done before. It was so much more intense and I started sort of incorporating um, some conditioning work, which I'd never done before. That was a very painful <laughs> first few weeks, having never done any conditioning. My whole sort of training regime completely changed. And within yeah, a couple of months of joining university, I got my first GB cap at the European Cross Country Championships, a competition I didn't even know existed <laughs> before I went to university. And all of a sudden I'd qualified for it and yeah, I was running in the, the GB vest. Yeah, it was very quick, but I think it just showed me the potential I could have if I actually sort of trained in a, in a different way that I hadn't done before. It was probably a year later when um, I qualified for the European Junior Championships. This was in 2012. And there was a couple of athletes that were there that also went to compete at the London Olympics. And I think just seeing, well, wow, they were at the same competition I was at. And now they're at the Olympics and this is, you know, four years before Rio, you know, there's that potential that possibly I could do that. And then, yeah, just my coach sort of saying, yeah, you can do this, you can do that. And having someone that can say, you can target these things, you can aim for these things. I think, yeah, for the first few years, I kind of obliterated his uh, his expectations and just kept on doing, you know, step further, step further, which was great. And yeah, I, I guess just having someone say, you can target this, you can aim for this, you can do this. And yeah, I guess it's just something having having someone believe in you. I thought, oh, wow, actually, maybe, maybe I could actually, you know, do really well in this and, and actually do this as a, as a career. Really excited for Tokyo. Yeah, I think it's been, well, a long time coming. You know, four years is a long time to wait in between Olympics, but it's now five. So um, yeah, and fingers crossed when it comes to Olympics, everything goes to plan. And I'd love to, I'd love to win a medal. You know, that would just be, you know, amazing. I've, I've yet to get sort of a global outdoor medal yet. I've been fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh at global championships in these past few years. So I just need one more, one more step um, to get on the podium and that'd be great. I think if people are considering, you know, going into sport and hopefully, you know, and going on to, to make a career, I guess um, my message would be, you know, it, it does take an awful lot of work. Um, you know, it's not a, it's not a quick fix. It will, it will take a, a long time, but you know, the rewards are just, phenomenal and yeah the opportunities that open up for you are just yeah fantastic it's given me a lot of belief and I guess confidence in myself as well that I didn't have before you know I never would have thought I would be able to go and do the things that I've done but sport has allowed me to to go and do that and you know, travel the world and meet amazing people and have all these different experiences it can do so much for you not just sort of in terms of your physical health but also your mental health um so yeah just give it a good shot you know commit you'll, be, you'll definitely have down times and you'll have ups and it'll be a bit of a roller coaster but you know that's sport that's life but it's, it's so worth it